it's me Manal from Cooking and Crafting with Manal. Today I'm going to be doing a crafting video. Today I'm going to be making my DIY cereal box organizer. It's such an easy and simple craft and it's a really good way to help yourself keep organized if that makes sense. Um, yeah, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. It's down below and click the bell button to get post notifications whenever I post a new video. So let's get to the craft. Okay, guys, so you want to start by getting your cereal box and um, taking off these flaps and trace where we're going to cut. So I'm going to take a marker and a ruler and I'm going to cut from one like this part all the way to this part like straight from here to here because i want to leave this part open so i'm going to take my marker open it and trace it to know where to cut because i want to cut just from here and you don't need to use any permanent marker no special markers just use whatever marker because we are going to end up painting over this now after you've done this you are going to turn it on on this side turn it on whatever if that made sense and as you know we marked it here of where we um where we're gonna cut we're gonna just i'm gonna make a little bit of a line that connects to that over here and i'm gonna trace the rest of that to make a straight cut um i don't know if you guys have ever seen this before but um i love this it's the cutest little half ever. Now from this side, we are going to take where we cut off from before, which is right here. And I'm going to leave a bit of the mark from, connect it from there. And just go like this and trace it all the way. But we still need to make sure it reaches to this part, like the, um, the other corner to the other side. So this is where not using a Sharpie is very nice. I'm not using a sharpie, so if I make a mistake, it's totally fine. I want to connect this to this, so I'm going to start by taking that and then extending my line all the way to the next corner. This is where we make our three different lines, this line on this side, this line on this side, and this line on this side. So now what we are going to do is cut off these areas. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start by, I don't know, I think that you guys are going to get bored if I do this in front of you guys. So I'm going to cut it and be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I cut this open and we cut on the lines that we traced and this is what I got. I got this type of opening, if you guys can see that. So now it's the time to do what you want to do. Um, you can cover this in scrapbook paper, do whatever you like. I'm going to be painting it this, um, a, I'm using a decor art, crafters acrylics. I'm doing the tropical blue color. I love blues personally. So I'm going to put the paint out on a side. Um, I like to get my brush a little bit wet before I start painting, even with, with acrylics. So the, uh, the coat goes on nicely. We may have to do more than one coat. Yeah, we will. But um, I think it's worth it. Um, some people have covered this in duct tape to do it. Um, others have used a scrap of paper like I told you. Or just plain white paper. And the best part I love about this is that it's made out of a recycled thing. Like cereal boxes are recycled. We don't really keep them. And I love using things that are not like costly you might already have paint in a cereal box at home and that's just how you basically do this and i love keeping myself organized and i make my own diy pencil organizers using those um, most like normal things and i will make a video on that soon um i do do uh crafting videos and, and cooking videos but i do it once a week and I skip a week, so like first week I'll do a cooking video and then a crafting, and then a crafting, and then a cooking. Like I, I do, I don't do two videos a week, and I don't do it every week. So yeah, this may take a while, so I will leave the drying part out of the video because it is a cereal box and it will take time to even paint the whole thing. But um, I want you to wet your brush because it creates very like... um. Make sure the paint isn't like um splotchy. It's more like 
um, thin. I like thin layers than one big fat coat because I don't think it. First of all, it it takes longer to dry. The thicker your coat, the longer it's gonna take to dry, and I think that's not a good thing because um, it takes less time to just do thin coats and let dry. So I can't do all the sides at once, obviously. So I'm going to do some of the sides that I can. I'm going to do the bottom too, but I don't know. I think I'm going to go flip it on this side and leave that side to dry on that side. I'm going to just paint this side. Um, and this, I wanted to do something that I haven't really seen before to, because this is something that everybody knows about. A lot of people know about it. I'm not saying everybody does. Well, like, a lot of people know about it, especially if you're into crafting, you know how it's done. And I wanted to add a twist into this, and you guys will see what I do. So I'm going to just do my thin, thin layers, and I know you must be bored watching me just paint, paint, paint. Um, so go ahead and skip the video. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to take a small breaky-wakey and be right back with my finished paint. And I did this side, I'm going to do all the sides and bring it back when this first coat is dry. So I just wanted to do an update. This is how it is after one coat. And now I'm gonna do the second coat in front of you guys so you guys have an idea of how this looks after each coat. Right now I think it's gonna need two more coats. Hopefully not more, cause that is a lot of coats. So I put my brush again and I'm going for my non spot yeah, I think it's gonna just be this is gonna be one more coat after this, hopefully. So, um, yeah. I feel like this is a bit of the boring part, and I don't want to show this to you guys. So yeah. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna just show you how it looks to do my coat on one side, and then I'll take a small break and show you guys how it is after I the next look. I keep on getting more paint, so I'm just painting the area, and I think my coats are perfect. I put a tissue paper underneath, so like I would steal, like the paint gets off, but just to be safe, I'm literally flicking paint everywhere. But yeah, if you go for thin coats, this is going to turn out really nice. I haven't done the bottom yet, I'm saving the bottom for the end when everything is done. I'll just do the bottom. And bring it to you guys um i don't know if i'm i don't do the inside usually because i don't really care but if you really want to you guys can paint the inside too but i'm gonna make this second coat a bit more thick but yet again don't go that thick that it'll take forever to dry like my first coat dried really quickly i like hardly took five ten minutes and it's already good i did all of this now now i'm just about to finish up this last side this side and really quick on take a break. Um, and this 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 way just is pretty easy. Like I'm sort of running out of things to talk about, but um, yeah. Please put in the comment section down below, like what color you would paint this. Cause I love this blue. And what, what's your favorite color? Tell me what's your favorite color. Because my favorite color, I don't know. I like purple for a long while. Like, my laptop is purple. Like, that's how much obsessed I was with purple. And, like, everybody knew my favorite color was purple. So now that I've done this one, the second layer on this, I feel like you're just going to need one more. And this is going to turn, turn out great. So, we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back. I'm working on the third coat now. Um, I'm doing this side right now. I feel like um, we will need four coats instead of the, um, instead of three. Because I still can see the word cornflakes. Um, I do recommend using, trying to find a plain sear block, something that's in white. It's easier to cover white with any color paint than it is to cover other colors. Um, to color other colors, yeah. So basically, um, this is my third coat. I just wanted to show you guys how it's looking for right now. And I think I'm gonna be back with a finished look. Looked. That makes no sense. But with a finished. Okay, guys, we're back. 
And yeah, um, the box finally dried. I had to do four to five coats just to make sure it was like, like nice and even. So now we're gonna go on to the next part. We got the basic structure ready. And now what I've done, I have made 23 triangles, which are four centimeters by three centimeters. I hope you guys can see them. Yes, so four centimeters by three centimeters. And we need 23 to 25 just for this cereal box. It always depends on your, um, on the dimensions of your uh, cereal box. So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna paint these with, um, paint the triangles with watercolors and that will give a really nice look. So I'm gonna do some ombre colors. I wanted to do something special. I wanted to do something cute too. So I'm gonna start from, from, I don't know. I think I wanna go from this one and I'm gonna just do some watercolors. You don't have to be in the lines, obviously. Cause um, you don't have to be in the lines. It's totally all right if you're not. What is this? I think it's some of the watercolor. I'll just put that there. So you're gonna just watercolor it really easily. I'm gonna do just um, certain colors to make it look nice. Some colors that blend together really nicely. Um, you can go from like light to dark too. It does not really matter. Um, I like blending my colors and then, cause I'm going for like um, blues and greens, but then I'm gonna add some purples and pinks. I think I'm gonna go with all colors. So I'm gonna do some of the same designs on different triangles. So I have like, you can have the same ones. It's totally fine. And then I'm gonna add some of the dark green here. And I like watercolors because they give a really nice weathered look, which I really um like. Like here, oh, we're gonna just borrow some of that, put it over here. I do um like don't I use watercolors a lot. Like in my previous videos, my first video, I used watercolors. I just love watercolors because they I like the color that they give. It's really pretty. And the, like, I can't believe that stuff can be so pretty just when you use some watercolors. So, yeah, I'm gonna continue, if I can move the paper now, continue doing this with all of these. And I, you, you can do whatever you like here. Um, you can be totally creative and do some really cool designs, like, um, add special colors to this totally up to you this is i love um art because you can totally get creative and um like do really cool things and mess things up but you can't really mess anything up and i think you can always fix the things that you mess up but yeah so i'm gonna do one right here same colors and the thing here that i love is that i'm not gonna be in the lines of things so especially when you don't have to be in the lines in an art thing i love that so now i'm gonna do some pinks and reds after all you can't do it without a pink or a red for me so i'm gonna add in some of my pinkish red on the bottom and then i'm gonna go for an orange and a bit of yellow and i love sunsets um like the my favorite thing when it comes to watercolors is the sunsets because they're so gorgeous so i'm gonna do some sunset colors love my sunset Oh, and I made a sense of triangle. I'm gonna make another one. And basically what I had the idea of doing with these is cutting these out and putting them alongside the border of where we cut on the uh, thing. And I think it'll look pretty cute. And I wanted to go for something a bit like, to get like a plain blue box is not gonna look as nice if you add some decorations with it. <laughs> so now I think I'm gonna go into some blues, like dark blue. I haven't really done that. I, I, I use Crayola watercolors. They're like my favorite because I think they're the ones ooh, that turn out the best. And then I'm going to go for a bit of this light blue. Like, um, I use my uh, light blue so much. Like, are you serious? And then I'm going to add in that dark blue. It's such a pretty turquoise. Turquoise is actually one of my favorite colors. If you didn't know. Um, yeah. So... I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna go for like a pink thing. Just like a really light pink. Okay, this is like a purple. Ooh, this is like a unicorn. So I'm gonna mix a bit of this pink 
in blue. So I'm going to go for like a pink and a bit of the blue, the, the dark blue. And then I like this because it's like a unicorn color. I'm going to do one unicorn color triangle like this. And it looks like tie-dye. That looks really cool. I'm going to do two of those. Well, first let me fix this. This is my favorite thing. Favorite. Um, I do have plans of doing some uh, triangle type of designs in some of my next videos because I think they turn out really nice. Now I'm going to do this orange one. I feel like doing some oranges. So I, okay, this is not a nice orange. This orange, no, 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 no. This is a no. I can't find my tissue actually. So this watercolor, I like how watercolor is like not really stains your hands. A lot of the paints I know like stain your hands all the time. I hate when paints, are, I'm gonna just turn this into unicorn colors. See, you can never mess up. And then um, watercolors don't stain your clothes either or the one, the Crayola ones that I use, they don't. That's what I like about them. Okay. This is a lot of water for one of them. Okay, this is a cool blue that I made. Not the watercolor thing, but these two match. Okay, I need to go for more of the unicorn colors. And I want to go for something like in the pinks. I'm going to do a pink and purple one. If I can do that today. So this is my pinkish purple. And then I'm going to add this other purple that I have. Better purple. Yeah. I'm gonna do that to one right here. And then, um, if you want, you can do your pencil marks in, like, um, a different, like, thing. In, like, Sharpie, so you can see them more, but I think this is gonna be fine for me. And, yeah, now I think I'm gonna do another green one, but I'm gonna use this other green this time. It's a bit of a dark forest green. Forest green! Then I'm going to add in a turquoise. I love how there's so many colors have like so many nice combinations. I hope that doesn't overtake. Hold up, I'm going to do the blue here. Make another green one. You guys should check out my sister's channel. I will put it in the description box. She does most of like slime stuff, which I think is nice. Like, I'm the one who's always behind her cameras uh, helping her. Like, um... We did this experiment video and she did not know what a fluid house was because it was on the instructions. So, yeah. Oh, I love these two colors. These are like goals. Okay. I think we should go in more some like pinks or reds. So, I think I'm going to go in with this. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Red and I think. I'm doing so much blues. Like, my thing is blue and I'm going to do blue. I think I'm going to go with. This is not. It's a good orange. No, it's like a yellow. So I think I'm gonna blend here. Yep, gorgeous. So I'm basically not gonna let these dry and cut these out before I'm back so you guys don't have to see me cutting it out. Because I think a lot of times we just skip through all the videos because like they don't get to the point and I know my videos probably will get really bo boring at times. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the last four. And this was basically the idea. So I have ideas just like this. And I think we should be right back after a break. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all of these. And make sure all of them are watercolored. And then come back. Okay? Be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back. And um, I, cu I cut out all the triangles. And they look so nice. I love this unicorn one that I did. So I'm going to set these aside. Make it rain. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to use, I use this Craft Medley craft glue. I like this glue better compared to Elmer's for just for crafting. I just think I like a nice clear glue. Uh, I don't really like Elmer's clear glue for crafting. So I just like using these types. So I think I'm going to start from the corner. So I'll put on some of my... I'm going to choose one first, so I think I'm going to go with this aqua one, and I'm just going to put the glue here, yeah, like here. This is like good quality glue, that's all I have to say, pretty good quality glue. Now I'm going to choose the side, the one that looks more presentable. And I'm just going to glue this on the side of where, 
and I'll cut off the excess, excess after. And I'm going to just make a row here so I can just glue them on. Just glue, 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 Okay. If the glue wants to come out, this glue is pretty slow, but it's really thick for some reason. Like, I've never seen such thick glue. And, um, how is it? So I'm just going to put this much for now. And then the next one I want to put, it's just like hot glue, like it leaves a string with it. And now I'm going to just put a bit more glue right here by the area of where I had my, for goodness sake, this glue is so annoying, but I still like it. Yeah, I spread it all around. I usually do this. Okay, you guys may see it. Okay, and then I'm going to put this here. And it's okay if the glue is there. These look like little banners, which I think is adorable, personally. Then I'm going to add on this reddish one. So, yeah, yeah. And I am not the best with the glue. I have the glue all over my hands. Now, I think I'm going to go for this one. Yeah, this one's pretty. It's pink and then purple. And I don't think we're going to need 23, we're going to need more. I had some extras out and we can count and make sure at the end. But um, we need around like 30 to 30, 30 to 40 actually. It's, it may seem like a lot, but it, because it sure it is. Okay, so I'm going to keep on doing this and I'm what I plan to do just put a layer of this glue if it wants to work with me today or else I'm gonna go get some new glue right now I'm just put a layer of it all across yay okay then thank you for your deflated noise glue and yeah and we just put this all across the border and I might do a second layer okay so you're gonna keep on going. Hello, thank you. It's just like hot glue, but it's not as good. So I'm gonna keep on putting this and um, complaining. <laughs> I think I wanna go for an aqua one next. I wanna do something, you know, get into the blues. I wanted to do all of these blue, but you know, I sort of painted the box blue too. So that would've. So, um, you want to do it alongside the cereal box corner, and if you're using less annoying glue than me, um, it'll be easier than it is for me at the moment, because my glue doesn't want to work with me today. The day I decide to use it, it does not work with me. And now it's getting, like, stick to my hands. It's getting into the most annoying thing in the world, but we are going to work with it. I'm going to make sure... I put this on correctly and I'm gonna do this to all the sides and I think it turns out really cute I think it looks aesthetic I think differently probably but I like it I like it now we need another color okay the one I have right now I have around like 38 or 39 40 of these cut in case I realized that when I was cutting them out that I will need more so I went ahead and made more yeah okay so we got the first side done I think it's looking pretty cute obviously it needs to dry but yeah that's the first side oh my gosh this glue is so annoying okay so this is how it's looking hope you guys can see it like the so I can't show you guys like it's from here it's going like that and so I was putting it on and I think it looks pretty cute I me mean, whoa that was scary Ooh, who's getting in trouble okay so I got some of my uh, it looks like a banner I think it looks pretty cute so I'm gonna do all the sides and be right back. hi guys so we're back um basically what happened is that I glued everything on these are all the corners 
and this is such an adorable um hack a diy you're like reusing things to make something adorable i love this it looks so chic and just to show you how this will turn out i have a notebook that i'm just gonna place in and i love this because i usually keep a lot of my workbooks and my textbooks on my desk so i can just fit them in here so let's put this aside so guys, this was my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to go check out my sister's channel, Fun With Maria. It's in the description box down below. And um, yeah, give this video a big like. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.